Hey, church family, we uh, got a really big Sunday coming up uh, here this, this Sunday and excited about all that God has in mind for us, uh, along with, with worship, which, uh, you know, it's always a blessing to come into the presence of the Lord with, with you and, and worship Him with you. But, but in addition to that, we got some big stuff coming up. Just want to give you a heads up real quick. Uh, one of those things is that our fourth year of the journey through the Bible is actually going to be starting here very soon. And so that'll, that'll be January 1. We'll start year four. So we're, we're going to be handing out uh, year four of the Journey Through the Bible reading list, our, our schedule for next year. This, this time we're going to be in the prophets and uh, also reading the gospels. And really uh, excited for, for us to make some connections between the prophets and the gospels, seeing how Jesus is the, the fulfillment uh, not only of the law, but also of uh, the prophets and, and some of the passages that are just so amazingly clear in their prophecy about Jesus, who he is and what he would do for us. God letting us know that so far in advance, hundreds and hundreds of years before, and just proving his word again and again. So excited to share the journey through the Bible reading list with you and uh, have all of us getting ready for this this fourth and last year of of that, and then we'll cycle back to year one and and start again together. Uh, but also this Sunday is Commitment Sunday, and you you most likely I hope you did received a commitment card in in the mail. We're also also going to have some of those available here uh, at, in the sanctuary and in the the Christian Life Center. But this is our financial commitment to the ministry budget for next year. And just want to talk for a second about the, the spiritual significance of this, because honestly, for me, this is one of the most significant services of the year, because it, it's an opportunity for me, for us, to be able to make a declaration of our commitment to the Lord. He, he says that we actually have to decide, right? Like, are you going to serve me or are you going to serve money, God or wealth? And th this, is our, this is our time to come forward toward the altar of the Lord and to say, I choose you, God. I, I submit my financial life to you. I submit my heart to you. I'm not going to serve this. I'm going to serve you. You have me. And God, you have all uh, of me. And in addition to that, you know, the spiritual significance of, of making a commitment to uh, the ministry of the church family. And, and I, I had to tell you, um, I, I tried to talk about this the other day in worship, and I don't, I don't feel like I said this well. And so I was at my life group the other night and, and was just telling them what I was really trying to say is that my wife and I, we're committed to tithing to the ministry budget. We, we believe that's the instruction of the Lord, uh, it comes from the Old Testament, but all the way through and reaffirmed by Jesus. And, and so no matter what, whatever church family God has us to, a part of, we're going to be committed, right? Like we're going to do it. But it is such a, a blessing to, to tie to a, a church and a church family that, that we're seeing just God on the move in so many different ways, expanding ministry, opening doors for new ministry, and, and so, uh, you know, it's great to be faithful even when, when it's hard and it's not exciting, but what a, what a blessing to be able to, to support and to see those tithes going to the advancing so powerfully of the ministry of Jesus. And, and so I hope, I hope that you'll come Sunday excited as I am uh, for us to recommit to uh, our time in God's Word and to recommit to our, our faithfulness to the Lord in our financial lives and our stewardship of, of everything that the Lord's entrusted us uh, with. And so look forward to seeing you on, on Sunday at 8.15, 9.45, and uh, 11 o'clock. And uh, God bless you and keep you until then.